Skoglin will make his second appearance since coming back from the disabled list. His first start in the big league since May 25th. He missed over three months with an elbow injury. And a line drive is caught at first by Ryan O'Hearn. That's always a good sign when the first play of the game is a good defensive play. Sanchez, nice player. Even better pitch there. Running hard up the line, but out. And Skolin has his first strikeout tonight. Who has made just 16 starts this year, 12 last year because of shoulder problems. He was the third overall pick in the 2014 draft. So the crank it up the mid 90s. Mondesi runs and Alex hits it into left center field and it's going to be caught. So Mondesi gambled and the gamble backfires as Alex lines to left and that's a double play. Grounds it out to Escobar. Out at second. Good turn. Double play. Two outs. Got him with a fastball away. So the meeting at the mound paid off. And he got the call over the inside. So that great slider. But Rodon has used his fastball to get two strikeouts in this inning. He has six big league at bats and just plants something else in his mind, something else to think about. He grounds it to wit. The contact play is on, and Engel is out at the plate. Just love it. Merrifield. And now Witt to third. And it's grounded into left field, so Witt will score easily. And the Royals take a 1 0 lead in the third. I mean, Fascio, he's been hot in situations like this. Ah, a slider. Knew it was coming. Woo! Got him looking. Sanchez isn't so sure. Deep right center field. Bonifacio is there to make the play. and deep to left field. And Jose Rondon has homered. A two run shot. His fifth of the year and the White Sox take a two to one lead. Said they think he's going to hit for some pop. He is. He's showing it already. Nobody drafted him. What? Ooh, yeah. He's going to have to wait another at bat. Scoglin finishes strong. And the slider got him. And a ground ball base hit into right field. So this time Mondesi goes the other way. He drives in Merrifield again. And we're tied at two. Another slider. And Salvi is down on strikes. Out at second. Really? And a pick by Abreu and a double play. And that's three. Wow. Turn behind Carlos Rodon in his six innings tonight. And Alex hits it out to Abreu to Bummer. And the Royals leave the bases loaded. They have stranded seven tonight. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. And second base with backhands throws oh, stretched by O'Hearn in time and he got him to chase it so Jace Fry has a one two three bottom of the ninth and for the second time in the series we head to extra innings we're tied in two Rick Renteria showing some impressive bullpen arms. And Manaya wow. pumps his fist as he strikes out two and a one, two, three 
bottom of the 10th inning. And Herrera hits a line drive oh. caught by Anderson and a double play. So the Royals had the contact play on and as soon as contact was made Phillips came to the plate immediately through to third angles running and that's high and deep into left center field and Tim Anderson has hit a two run home run. So now he's had a big night on defense and a big night at the plates home run number 19. Two outs in the 12th inning. Anderson throws from shallow left. It's his home run that put the White Sox in front. And he's also had an excellent game on defense. Just ask him. <laughs> and the White Sox avoid the sweep. Anderson and Jose Rondon hit two run home runs. The Royals take two out of three. But the White Sox win it tonight 4-2.